All right, Cancer. All right, so happy January 2016. We're going to pull three cards for you guys for January. Let's see what this reading is. All right, so we have the Whirl, okay? The Whirl card is the first card. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one just popped out, so it's the Queen of Swords. Okay, what's your third card? So this is your general reading, and we have Seven of Coins. Okay, so for everyone out there that's a Cancer, this is your general reading. You can watch three videos, your birth sign, north node, and rising sign. So Cancer, your first one is the world card. So this is reminding you that the world is truly yours, okay? You're in control of and a big part of where you are going in your life, what you are doing. So remember that you're in control. And this is more of not um, waiting around for things to happen, to get it done, and then, and then let that natural process of time happen. So this, this reading is saying that you are in control of your time, okay? So you are in control of your time. That's what this reading, the full reading is about. Then we have the Queen of Swords. So when I look at the cards, they tell a story and that's, and that's what I see, okay? Now we're breaking it down. The Queen of Swords is saying that, of course, you're in control, okay? Whether it's a female or a male that's in the in the leadership position in the card it's still in control you're in control now another way of looking at this is that there's a female that's kind of pulling the strings or in control and if you don't like how certain things are going whether you're you're male or female there's a female energy that is pulling the strings so you have to get in control of your own personal power your own space your own physical space and your own mental um, space and power okay so it's not like a negative like it doesn't have to be a negative thing it could be more of a self-respect thing for yourself so this is the queen of swords so if you want to interpret it for yourself this is you really allowing yourself to be reborn and really remembering your own personal strength and standing your ground in a positive way and saying, hey, uh, maybe you want to be treated with more respect, um, your voice to be heard. So now we are looking at seven of coins, okay? And back to the queen of swords. Swords, again, is air energy, and I have to repeat it. So, <laughs> you know, because I say it a lot, but in my mind, I'm saying it a lot, but you haven't heard it in your reading, especially if you're new to the channel. So Queen of Swords, the swords represents air energy or air element, if you will. And it has to do with the voice speaking, okay? So really finding your own power and um, making sure that you feel respected and that you are not being um, just pretty much not in control of your time and and your your life really your life so seven of coins earth energy for coins and this is about this card shows someone getting all the work done and now they have to wait they have to wait for either their 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 product to sell you know in the card it's very it's old world so you have like a farmer right so he's waiting to sell us his products right and you can translate it to any kind of goods. You, it's still the same process happening in our time today. So a lot of things remain timeless. Things change, but it's the same in many ways. So the full reading that I get from this is that this is your world, right? You're in control of, of how you're going to spend your time starting from today. You know, let go of the past, let go of yesterday, what happened yesterday, today is a new day, whenever you see this video, no matter if it's for January and you're watching this in April or in July, okay, it doesn't matter, um, 
cancer if you were just scrolling and it's July 2016 and this video is for January 2016 you're getting the messages coming to you it's meant to be so this is your world you decide how you want your world to be okay and you the Queen of Swords is saying you know get into your own power and, and it's not like a power where you're throwing your weight around so whenever I mention power um, for, for to use it it's not in the negative where you're throwing your weight around you're throwing your power around like yeah I'm in control this is more of um, self-survival and um, in the most balanced way and then the seven of coins is saying okay now now the only time that that you should be waiting around for something is because you've done everything else that you can do and now you're letting time take its course and that's the main message of your reading is allow time to take its course see you guys on Facebook you can click like on the daily tarot cards um, that I post on there and uh, make sure that you're following me on Periscope so that is it, guys. I will see you guys next time. Enjoy your January.